Cha cha cha. This is the cutest dress. This is so cute. I cannot. It's so adorable. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am all beachied out in my Farm Rio. Look at that. Beached out, pulled out, whatever you want to say. This is a cute, like the cutest swimsuit cover up I have ever put on my body. I am dressed like this because I want to do a what's in my pool bag type video. What do I take to the pool if it's just me and I'm just going to relax and hang out. And of course this doesn't include like beverages or, or snacks, but this is just like my essentials, what I am taking every single time. If you catch me at the pool, you can bet I'm going to have all this stuff on me. First things first, of course I have a pool towel. I actually usually like to bring two just because I can kind of fold one of them and put it behind my head, you know, like a pillow on the lounge chair. I have the Vera Bradley pool towels or beach towels, whatever water, body of water you're going to. These are, this one is Vera Bradley and my other ones are Vera Bradley. I get them from the outlet, so they're actually pretty affordable. They're not, I mean, they're not the most inexpensive, but they're certainly not the most expensive. And I enjoy them because they are huge. They are ginormous. They're bigger than your typical bath towel. Like these are legit. Comfy, I've washed them, they are still so soft, so plush, and they are huge. Like, I love a big, long, wide pool towel. And Vera Bradley comes through. Now, this is my actual little pool bag. I changed it from last year, or whichever year I did this video, that was way back. So this here is from Teamy, and it's one of those where you purchase so much, then they'll send you a free bag, and this was the bag, and it's perfect. I love, like, the burlap material on there. It's cute. It says Beach Babe, and then it's got Teamy. I don't splurge when it comes to pool bags or beach bags because it's either going to get in the sand, you got kids playing at the pool, they're going to splash it, it's going to get wet, it's just going to get dirty. So I never... I just bring whatever I don't care to get wet or get messed up. And that just happens to be this free bag from Teamy, and it's big. It holds everything that I need. So let's dive right in. First up, let's look at the books that I bring. I typically bring, I typically throw in a magazine, but I just got rid of a bunch of magazines because it was like my collection was just piling and I read them once and then keep them for some reason, even though I just read them once. So I finally got rid of those. Uh, but I definitely bring books. If I don't feel like listening to music and I just kind of want to hear the sounds of the pool and the birds and the people, I will pull out a book. This one is Freddie Mercury's Somebody to Love. Well, he didn't write it. But this is about Freddie Mercury, his life, called Somebody to Love. Love books like this. I love learning about music and the artists behind it and their lives and how they got to be where, like, who they were and who they are still to this day, even after death. So I'm really into this one right now. I also have Elton John's biography. Of course, he's still here, you know, with us. But he did write a book, and that's going to be my next read. This one, or these, I love this author. Her name is Jen Sincero. I'll, I'll put it down here. I'm not sure I am pronouncing that correctly. I hope I am. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Um, but these are self-help books. I don't like to call them self-help books. I, I mean, because it's like... And I'm not ashamed of it. I'm just saying like, I would rather call them, you know, motivation books. I read them and I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's conquer this day. Let's conquer this year. Let's conquer this life. You know, like they really just motivate me to go out and do what I think I, you know, deserve to do and go get, go after this life that I want. So I really, really enjoy reading these, especially when I'm relaxing by the pool chilling i'm kind of in my thoughts i can read these and then walk away from my lounging time my pool time ready to just like conquer so these i highly recommend even i'm not saying you need help i'm saying if you want just that book that's going to motivate you this whole series love them i'll link it down below i'll just go ahead and link everything down below per use per use 
Okay, this here is my pool pass. It gets me in the pool. This here is the bracelet that I have to wear. So when our security comes around, they can check. They'll ask me if I have one. It just ensures that everybody that's at the pool is supposed to be out the pool and we're not, you know, overcrowded with people that just saw a pool and thought they could use it, you know? So there's my uh, pool pass again. Next up, oh, the sunnies. So typically, I always keep this pair in my pool bag, but I also have another pair that I got this Christmas from my boyfriend. They're YSLs and they are, oh, they're the bad, like they're so cool. I love those sunglasses. But these, they're big, they're like obnoxiously big, fun big. And they're Ray-Bans, they're called Wing 2. And I love the lightweightness of them, the thinness of the, what are these called? I don't know. And I like how just big and fun and summery they are. I probably look obnoxious, like a big jerk in these. <laughs> but it's okay. And another reason why they are my pool glasses is because the frame is thin. So I can wear them and then when I get inside, I don't have a sunglass tan line on my face. So any sunglasses with thin frames like these, you know, your typical aviators, these from Ray-Ban, whatever, uh, they're not going to leave that sunglass tan line. So that's why, that was one of my main, main reasons for picking these and I mean they're just obnoxiously cool. I really like them if you couldn't tell. And ignore that furniture back there, my boyfriend, he's moving it, he does. It's one of his, just, just ignore it. <laughs> okay, on to the next. Of course, y'all know I don't go to the pool without a pair of headphones. These are the AirPods, um, the first ones. I have the second generation. I just don't know where they are, but I'll find them. But, so for now, I'm, I'm using these. I mean, they work. I don't care what generation, but I wish I could find the others. That'd be nice. Scrunchie, of course, has to go with me. As you can tell, I got a lot of hair. I don't mind getting it wet going in the pool. That's why it's been curly recently because I'm not going to go to the pool all the time, put a bunch of heat on my hair to straighten it for a couple days, jump back in the pool, and it's just too much heat at once. Like, too much heat. So I'm just going to wear it curly, give it a break, deep condition a lot, and then I don't have to worry about it. So anyways, I jump in, I'm in the pool, but then when I get out and I'm laying out, my hair dries so quickly and it dries up and out. So I do have a scrunchie just to contain, you know, the fro. I don't want to scare anybody at the pool. So I do bring a scrunchie always. Now let's get down to the skincare that I have always with me and you should have to definitely some kind of sunscreen and I girl if you're laying beside me feel free to ask I got all kinds of sunscreens for you okay sister don't you worry you want to glow you want unseen you want I mean what do you want I got you first up we have this is from super goop actually most of this is from super goop this is the play everyday lotion you can get like a super size of this like a jug of this at Ulta Beauty and I almost purchased it one day but I was like let me at least get through this uh, it has an SPF of 50 and I like it because it is good for the shoulders arms legs I mean this is for that every day you're going out on a walk you're going on a hike you're going walking downtown whatever you know if your skin is exposed you can use this it's small enough and compact enough to keep it in your pocketbook or pool bag and it's going to protect you with the SPF of 50 the applicator is super easy it's just a little squeezy tube so it's not that messy sunscreen that's one thing that I like I have seen those children been that kid that has just a white cast kid I, I think that happened to me like a year ago I was that person you know you just have a little white film on you from your sunscreen but this stuff is so lightweight yet really impactful it's not a thick formula blends in so easily smells like heaven oh uh don't get me started on the smell of sunscreen. I cannot. And it's just so smooth. See, it just, it's right on my skin. There isn't any white cast. It was easy to pop it right on there. I just really enjoy everything about Super Goop. Mm-hmm. 
Next, this is also super goop, and this is the glow screen. This also has an SPF of 50, but I like this for the days where I'm like, I'm going to lay out and I want to look and feel like a goddess. So this is your sunscreen, SPF of 50, but it's got a glow in it. This is your oil that is just, already, I don't, I'm like, gosh. This stuff is amazing. I cannot, oh, this same heavenly smell, same smell of, I've been outside all day, baking in the sun, but protected of course, protected. And you're just laying there and your stomach, your chest, your arms, your shoulders, you just are glowing so good. And don't get it twisted, don't get it messed up. This isn't a tanning oil. This is sunscreen, SPF of 50, but it just glows. This is like that luxury sunscreen. So good. Same thing here. And um, once again, this is super goop and it is SPF of 50. This is a sunscreen stick in a gel oily like substance. So as you can see, it is like, I mean, it kind of looks like a deodorant stick, if you will. It's certainly not deodorant, though I'm sure you could use it as you know, if you if you lay like this, maybe you could definitely you know. But don't no, I wouldn't put it on your face after. Let me know how that goes. Um, but this has a glow as well, and this it's so easy. Screw off the lid. Bop bop bop. You don't even have to have a mirror. That's one thing that tickles me pink about this stuff, like the glow screen, even this on your body, this on your face. You don't have to go to the bathroom and reapply. Like just swipe it right on, and it's you don't have to worry about the white cast or anything, you simply have a beautiful glow and you're protected, SPF of 50. Time to glow. Okay, this is, of course, I'm telling you, Super Goop is my, mm, not sponsored by any means, but if y'all wanna reach out, look, the founder, her name is Holly, so I mean, I'm not being biased, but Holly's a pretty cool name, okay? Um, <laughs> moving on. This is the glow screen. If you didn't know, if you're new here, okay, we like to glow here. We like to glow. <laughs> and this sunscreen enables that at the pool. No more white cast, no more chalky looking, no. Mm -mm, no ma'am, we're glowing at the pool. We don't need to keep going to the bathroom because to check, uh-uh. Super Goop makes us, enables us to just swipe, apply, and glow, okay? This is the glow screen, and this has an SPF of 40. Same concept, uh, same applicator, little squeezy tube. This has a tint to it, though. So, the play lotion is white, but of course, blends in clear. And then these are oils, of course. This has a slight color to it, if you can see that. See, yeah. But still, once you get that rubbed in, you do have this glow, this radiance that's absolutely beautiful. Like your skin looks so pretty with these products on. If you just try one, you will understand why I have so many Super Goop products. And the last Super Goop is SPF of 30. It's their lip balm. Once again, easy. Put it on just like you would, you know, using Carmex. Mm. Smells delish, 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 delish. And last but not least, I do have some sun balm in here. This is for the face, SPF of 50, and then this is another chapstick that I have from Sun Balm, SPF of 30, and this one has a coconut smell to it. Man, I haven't even opened this. Okay, this is, I guess this is a backup. I haven't even opened this one. But that should assure you that I totally, like I'm not just preaching to you like, hey, Put on your sunscreen every day. Stay protected, stay, pr stay protected. No girl, I am preaching and practicing. Practice what you preach. I use sunscreen too. I take good care of my skin and I'm not bragging on myself. I'm saying I don't take good care of it to just go and ruin it in the sun. I love the sun so I, if, I, if I'm gonna be out there, I need to do what I need to do to stay protected and protect my skin that, you know, God gave me. And one thing that has always sticked with me, like 
when I think about skin and taking care of it is hearing my mom say that she wished when she was my age that she took care of her skin. So, and she doesn't have bad skin at all, but she just says she doesn't do skincare the way I do or as much as I do, you know. So, that keeps me like, okay, I need to keep this up because clearly it's making a difference in preserving my skin. Oh, I really actually enjoyed taking you through my pool bag and just kind of hanging out and doing, I guess, kind of a, a mini, not really a haul, because none of that's like new stuff, but showing you what I take to the pool. Again, if you ever see me at the pool, feel free to, you know, get your towel or you can borrow my second beer, Bradley, and we'll, you know, hang out. If you need some sunscreen, girl, I got you. And I'll have like sparkling water, regular water, maybe a Red Bull, some peanuts and stuff. We'll talk, we'll chit chat. Come on over. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for watching. You guys are so, so much my rock stars. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you made it to the end, just hit that subscribe button. It's a good time here. Thank you so, so much again, and I will see you at the pool. No, I'm just kidding. I hope I will see you on my next video. Bye. Cha, cha, cha. That's what this dress makes me want to do. Cha-cha-cha. Look at that. I am obsessed. It is so cute.